If you think you need to be a celebrity or a politician to start a movement, think again. Any of us who see a change we want to make in the world can start a movement, whether it's about the environment, around equality, around animals. Instead of thinking someone else will do it, leading a movement is about knowing we're going to do it. So to learn how, we turn to best-selling author and founder of Thought Leader Academy, Sarah Connell. First up, Sarah says, make it social. Pick the social media channel where you feel the most comfortable because your authenticity is going to shine through. And then she says, start a dialogue with your followers about what problem your movement will solve. So whether that's real stories, interviews, static posts, inspirational quotes, you being present and consistent around the message is the most important thing. And once you get that dialogue going, pick a memorable hashtag. You want your hashtag to be a flag in the ground at the promise of of what your movement will achieve. She says make sure you share your hashtag at the end of your post and then get your followers to start using it too. And that is what can create that sort of avalanche effect. Next up, speak about it. If you're not deathly afraid of public speaking, I highly recommend standing on a stage, TEDx, there are events all over the world. That is going to give you credibility as the leader of this movement, visibility, and powerfully allow you to make a call to action. And Sarah says, be be as authentic as possible on stage. She says one way to do that is sharing the origin story of your movement. So whatever was that crisis you faced, the challenge you had to overcome, the injustice that you witnessed in the world is a beautiful place to start. Moving along with get your idea on paper by writing a book. Now that can sound intimidating, but this could be a short ebook. It could be your treatise, your, your manifesto. She says writing a book will allow you to do more storytelling and expand on your idea. So you're going to reach people all over the world in many different countries because you've expressed your idea in this narrative form. And while writing a book may sound scary. The point is to get started. And to get our literary chops she recommends joining a group. There are classes on writing a book. You can take a book mapping session just to get your ideas on paper. And then just a simple you know, internet research will help you find the right person to partner with you to make that happen. Finally, Sarah says create a place for people to share the impact of your movement. What are the ripple effects when people are doing the work, practicing this new mentality? How is it changing lives? And collecting those stories and sharing them will create this sort of ongoing ripple effect of change so that you really do change the world with your movement. Being the change we want to see in the world by starting a movement is on the top of the list. <laughs>